Hey everyone, Justin here from Fear Quest. Welcome back to the Plastic Soul. Today we're going to bring you a look at the uh, nun figure from NECA. Um, picture up today at GameStop from the James Wan's Conjuring Universe. Uh, pretty excited about this figure. Like I didn't think they'd really ever do anything besides, you know, like Annabelle. But now they got Valak here in nun form and they've got the uh, Crooked Man coming out. Sorry if you hear a bunch of crazy noises. I don't know if my mic's picking up. But there's a baby in there and she's being... She's loud. But anyway, uh, back to this figure. She uh, came out, I don't know how exactly how long she's been out. I pre-ordered her at GameStop, and she came in today. And uh, here she is in her box here. And get, of course, you get the Conjuring Universe up here. She's good. Sorry, I'm using a light, but with the nun. Really cool artwork. Good and creepy picture over there. like that this packaging NECA's new packaging is like I mean you know I've got sideshow packaging I've got you know TB League Fison pack boxes boxes not packaging boxes man these boxes like I need a whole separate storage unit for these boxes because you can't throw these away anymore because they're freaking art Used to, you know, NECA and Mezco, whatever. I mean, uh, you know, you just tore their stuff open and threw it away. You can't now. Because it's too beautiful. It's really cool. And can't throw it away. Anyway. Down here we got a priest with a haunted past and a novice on the threshold of her final vows are sent to the Vatican to investigate the death of a young nun in Romania and confront a malevolent force in the form of a demonic nun. Includes alternate head. So, anyway, let's look at the box. We're going to get out of here in a minute and check her out. More logo up there. Choking hazard. Alright, let's get her out and check her out. Alright, we got her out of the box now. Um, I'm using my uh, trusty Jason Voorhees six scale machete here. It chops through tape like butter. Um, we got her out. She seems to be standing alright on her own. I was kind of worried about that. I haven't looked at the bottom of her feet yet, but mm, to my knowledge, none of the NECA retro cloth figures have a peg on their foot for like stands or anything. Something you guys should add. I don't know. We'll check her feet out in a minute. But um, she stands on her own okay. Uh, she seemed to have pretty good articulation in her legs. She did come with one alternate head. So I think she comes with that's the uh, just creepy closed mouth face. You want to get a look at the detail. Those eyes look freaking amazing. Like The eyes are great. And the vein in the forehead is pretty cool. Cheek veins are alright. Uh, the lipstick I really don't know about. Like... You know, I watched The Nun. I watched Conjuring 2. Uh, I don't really know how much it was smeared over her lips like that. Like, either uh, some paint application problems, or... I need to go back and take a look at it. I don't know. Maybe she was just really bad at putting... Or he was really bad at putting lipstick on. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's a cool extra head. So, let's check her out. Her outfit so far looks pretty great. Uh, this just comes off. I don't know how a nun's, I don't even know what to call it. A nun uniform works, but that just comes off of her. And just sits on really good right there. Works really well. It's tailored really well. I was pretty amazed by that. Like, like I've not been let down by really any of NECA's retro cloth figures. But this one, it's really freaking sweet dress looks cool. Do you call it a dress? Whatever it is. The nun attire looks great. Get a close-up look of her face here. That's pretty horrifying. I dig it. Look at those teeth. And again, the eyes. I mean, they did really good on the eyes. She don't have, you know, maybe one's a little off-center, but no, that looks good. Good Good, good job, guys. Uh, for her articulation, it's like 
I don't know how she compares to the other ones. She seems to actually move. Let's get this off her for a minute. Seems to actually move a lot better than, like, the other ones. If, I mean, of course, she's got her shoulder movements and uh, elbow bend. But she's she's got a lot, of, a lot going on here. Her little bony wrists. I need to look at my panel of Lori's figure because I don't know if her wrists are this bony. Get close up on the hand there. It's all dirty and scary. It's a demonically possessed hand. Uh, let's see. Did she have? Did she have pegs? No pegs. So I guess you'd have to get one of those like a little stand, like you know, clamp stands. I don't know what they're called, but if you if you needed one, but I've tacked. Well, like sticky tacked all of mine's feet on the shelf, and um, it works all right. Let's check her. Uh, sorry, we're going up here, lady. Why don't you got your articulation here? Uh oh, what's this? What is this? Hmm. Got some paint or something there that's rubbed off. Probably from the. Uh, yeah, it's like a pattern, like a dress pattern, I guess. Something was wet at one time, and uh, left those stains on her legs. Or she's got really cool tats, you know, minimalist tats. Uh, anyway, she's got articulation in the legs. Got the knee bend there. Her feet. Her feet are a little off color from her legs. Is that part of the shoe? I guess it is. Okay, is this a hill top shoe? Or that's her, like, I don't know why it's off color. But anyway, yeah, she's pretty standard. She does stand okay, though. That's that's a plus. That's a big plus with the uh, these figures. They stand. Because I've had so many face plant. It's like an everyday thing, man. I come home and who's laying on the floor? But I know this is just a quick look at Valak here, or the nun, whatever you want to call her. Um... Looking forward to the Crooked Man. Uh, I should know, but I don't. Yeah, it's not a retro cloth, I don't believe. So I'm figuring it's going to be an ultimate. I could be wrong. You could uh, correct me if I'm wrong. That's totally fine. Anyway, just giving you a quick look at this figure. I approve. Justin's stamp of approval. If you're a fan of Annabelle or anything in the Conjuring universe, James Wan, horror movies, Insidious, they're all so good. I would definitely get this figure really quick before she's, ex you know, no longer available. Oh, there she goes. Get up there, girly. Anyway, there we go. There you have it. There's the nun. And that. Yep, there she goes again. She's, you know what her problem is, man? She's had way too many of these. Anyway, so. Go pick the nun up. She's really cool. Uh, got another video I'm going to work on at the end of, later in this week. And it is a... I'm calling it... You know, I was bragging on you standing up. Now you just won't stand up. So I mess with her feet. Um, got another video I'm going to work on later this week probably put out by the weekend it's gonna be kind of a uh, creature feature double show yeah a double creature feature review is what we're gonna be doing some toys so looking forward to that um yeah and some other things i got in the works but uh you know if you you know enjoyed my video at all hit that like button if you disliked it hit the dislike button you're not gonna hurt my feelings i love you all the same uh, go buy your NECA toys, go buy whatever toys, I'm out of here guys, love ya.